Hey, welcome back. We're building another insect today from the insect collection. I am practicing delay gratification and just building one of each of these a week. So last week I built the Morpho butterfly, the big beautiful blue butterfly, and I've had I've had it on my desk for the whole week, so I've been able to just really enjoy its absolute sublime gorgeousness. But today we're gonna do the praying mantis, not a stick insect, because they're actually different. But the praying mantis is, I mean, it depends upon your mindset. Is it a, is this a super creepy or super cool? Or a little bit from column A and column B, because I mean, insects look so alien to us that, oh you know, yeah, okay, right, so I'm super psyched. This is the Chinese mantis, which is a species of praying mantis, which is not a stick insect, even though it looks like a walking stick. <laughs> so praying mantises are actually carnivorous. They will eat other insects, they will bite their heads off their mates, so we're gonna make this one the female uh, praying mantis because otherwise she'll yeah, lose her head and I don't want a headless praying mantis to display on my sideboard. It would feel just a little bit unfinished. So praying mantises are carnivorous, they're not stick insects. Stick insects actually eat leaves. <gasps> How about that? I mean, this, it's so confusing. I actually only know this because we had a praying mantis come and live with us over winter one year. So I had to learn to, <laughs> to catch it bugs every day. And I had to learn the very big difference between stick insects and praying mantises. It was really cool. She was really cool. And I know she was a she because she laid us an egg sack. And then we had to, uh, yeah find homes for all of those pr little praying mantises that came out of the egg sacs. I can't get this little tiny flower in the middle. I find it so hard to get single stud things in the middle of, you can see what I'm, where I'm struggling here, but figured it out. If I just stick a stick in it, then I can take the stick out afterwards. So, oh my gosh. So there are a couple of lady beetles on here as food. Yeah, as prey for the praying mantis. I love that. By the way, I also love the irony of this. Is it irony? Probably not. Uh, I probably should learn, learn how to use irony correctly. But I love the fact that praying is a homophone and both both meanings of the word work for the praying mantis. So the praying mantis, P-R-A-Y-I-N-G, is praying, P-R-E-Y-I-N-G, on the ladybirds. Okay, all right. <laughs> just there's a little things that just they make me they're so interesting anyway while I've been busy babbling we have put together the base we're getting together the branch for the praying mantis to actually be displayed on but also like not just stuck on a board like a display insect pinned to a board I love the fact that they are displayed as though they uh, as like in motion, in life. By the way, I also brought Autumn in because I just wanted her in here for scale, but also as a potential snack as mantis is a, a apex predators. And that makes her a tasty snack. She's so little, but really they are carnivores. But generally only for other insects though. So she'll be fine. Autumn will be fine. Make sure you watch till the end, find out if Autumn is fine. <laughs> Ah, uh, she's not. What? No. Okay, so we've got another little leafy branch here with an extra lady beetle on it, which might just keep autumn, <laughs> autumn on the side of safety. This is so cute. And this goes on the little sticky outy stick bit that's in here and goes out on an angle. It just has so much motion, these builds. That, hold on, that wasn't very good grammatically, but you, you, you understand what I mean. And Oh, lady beetles also, like, you want stick insects too. So there are some bad lady beetles, but no, they're the ones that, like, they suck the sap out of the little tiny shoots. So these are, like, the buds and the new shoots on the branch, and you, the, the, the praying mantis is coming and eating the lady beetles, which would otherwise destroy, destroy the brand new growth, the brand new sprouts. Oh, okay, that's so pretty. So we have got our display ready to go for a praying mantis. We're not quite done with the display yet though, so we're up to the next bag. There's only two bags in this build, but there's actually a nice substantial amount of interesting building. I'm loving these. I mean, this really feels like a botanical set because we're building flowers and leaves and branches and twigs as well as the insects. So I feel as though it could be classed as part of that, but it is an idea set, which is really cool too, that it's somebody, somebody in the general public's idea and got made into a real Lego set. So these are big leaves that go off to the sides here and you can actually angle them, you can twist them and you can angle them up and down a bit because the sticks that they're holding on to have got a little bit of movement within the main br branchy twig thing as well. Okay, starting on the main creature itself, starting on the praying mantis. So we're going on the abdomen, the big long skin 
skinny bit along the back first. And this is, oh gosh, and what are the little like this kind of scaly carapace -y, it's not really scaly, the hard bits on the side that are picked so nicely. And the shielding on the top, that green bit on the top, you'd have wings underneath that. Cause I was very surprised when my praying mantis decided to fly itself around the room, which I don't know why I was surprised. I don't know how I thought they were gonna get around, but yeah, hidden wings underneath. Got the thorax at the top and we're already starting on the front pair of legs, which are the reason that the praying mantis is called the P-R-A-Y ING mantis is because they hold in like a little praying position. They just hold so still and then they suddenly strike at their prey, P-R-E-Y. I'm never going to get tired of that. <laughs> Armophones. Armophones. Okay. All right. So we've got these cool little front legs. Look at that. Look at those little green sword bits and with all the, the ser ser serration on them. Looks so good. Okay, so we've done, we're doing so well. We're going so well with our beautiful praying mantis. It is beautiful. Nature is beautiful. This is <laughs> really the, the best use of a gun I've ever seen. So that's actually the little claw feety bits on the ends. So we have four legs now. Well, we have six all up because we've got the two on the front. These go into, just trying to figure out which way they're supposed to be oriented. So it, I suppose it doesn't matter because you can just twist them in situ. So we put them in and then you can kind of angle them how they're supposed to into something that looks a little bit realistic. So I think the green bit faces the top, supposed to face the top, and then you can angle them around. Nobody's, she is standing out quite wide, but we'll, we'll yeah, we'll, we'll pose her later. But the most important part is whether this head looks realistic enough to believe this, this is like a bug. <gasps> These printed eyeballs. Oh my gosh, they look freaky. They look so good. <gasps> and you can like position them in wacko. Oh, wow. You'd have one gone up, one gone down. <laughs> yeah, it's not surprising that people are creeped out by bugs, but really they're so fascinating. Okay, so these are these, this is so interesting and cool, such a cool use of a crowbar. They become the antennae on the top. Oh, and you can angle them too. And the little pincery mouthy bit on the front is just a claw, triangle on the top to complete the shape of the head. And that is so good. Oh my gosh, those printed eyepieces are just bringing me so much creepy joy. Okay, so we've got the head in, put the head in and you can, you can really fiddle around with all of these everythings to create so much movement and realism. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, the butterfly was beautiful. This is really fun and full of just so much. Oh, so interesting. Okay, let's pop this onto the actual stand to see how this is. We definitely need to get autumn out of the way to see how this goes. So it just clicks on like that. And at the moment, she's a bit splayed out. I'm just going to mess about with some other parts first. Yee, look at those front legs going up and down. We can angle her head. We can put the... Oh, the front legs into, I keep wanting to call them hands, like front legs into, into praying position or ready to strike. Oh yeah, this is really amazing. But her, yeah, her back legs look weird. So these big green leaves, I think they've actually been put there so that there is something for those big splayed front back legs, front back legs, if you know what I mean, have something to actually sit on. That looks so realistic. And even the size of this is a like, a similar size to a full grown praying mantis. How amazing is that? Oh, I'm going to have so much fun with this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's looking at you. It's looking down. <laughs> okay. Must stop. Not going to stop because I'm just going to, but I will stop for now. But uh, Autumn ventured just a little bit too close. You knew it was going to happen, right? And her abbreviated arm, her limb difference, her, that, that arm is actually the size of a bar. So you can clip it into the pincers on the front. Looks so cool. <laughs> if you're into that kind of thing, like having little miniature people getting, getting caught by praying mantises, which I am. It looks really fun, but it's also a lot of fun just to have this little dude hanging out on your hand. Oh my gosh. All right. These are just, these are incredible. The designs of these are amazing and you can do so much fun things with them. That was bad English, but that's fine. All right. Let me know your thoughts. I will build the Hercules beetle next week. I'm going to enjoy this one in the meantime, put him next to my Morpho butterfly and I'll be back. Yeah, I'll be back with another video really soon. So I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I, you know, I'll go and check how Autumn's going. She'll be fine.